What's up, guys? Walrus here. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. So I'm sure many of you guys have probably seen quite a few of the videos that I've posted up on this great community channel that Brass has started for us. Today I've got something different. Today I've got something special for you guys. A triple commentary with two of my really good friends, two of my really good teammates. These guys are brothers. Uh, my buddy Dan or D-Shock, he's got his own YouTube channel, and uh, I've subscribed I constantly find quality content on his channel, and I'm sure you guys will too. Um, so today we've uh, we've got a domination game on Kowloon, and uh, the topic that we're going to be discussing amongst us is perhaps controversial, and it's whether to prestige or not in Black Ops. And I'm going to go ahead and let my buddy Dan introduce himself to you. He's got his brother here as well, and he's going to tell you a little bit about uh, what's going on, what you're looking at. Go ahead, Dan. Hey, what's going on, guys? Like OG said, my name is Dan, or D-Shock, and, you know, today we're playing some Domination on Kowloon, uh, using my Commando with Red Dot, and I have Flak Jacket, Sled Hand Pro, and Hacker Pro for my perks. Now, uh, we are going to be talking about a pretty big topic in the Call of Duty community, and that's whether to prestige or not. That is that is the question, sir. That is the question. And we're going to theater mode it over to uh, our game battles buddy, Edvin. Now, I played in this game with you guys as well, but I had a mediocre game, so I, I went ahead and uh, and edited the video and, and highlighted uh, you and Edvin because you guys, you guys went freaking beast mode in this game. Edvin's on his way to get his puppies, and you had some ridiculous KD and uh, a couple of caps, and I was pretty impressed, man. Nice work. Thank you. Yeah, we, we tore it up. So um, that's it, guys. I mean, prestige or not to prestige. And in my opinion, personally, uh, after I had this game for a couple of days, I came to the conclusion that I was not going to prestige. I mean, getting these, getting the pro perks in Black Ops is not the easiest task to do. I mean, you get forced into game game modes that you, uh, you, you may not like. You get forced into doing things that you might not find too enjoyable. And uh, that's really what uh, what caused me to arrive at my conclusion of not prestiging is is the pro perks, how much time and and uh, and work it takes to you know to really accumulate all the pro perks. And right now, I have every perk proed out except second chance, steady aim, and scouts. And I, I don't have those proed out because I just don't use them. I have every weapon, I have every attachment for every weapon, and I have about two hundred thousand COD points. And I'll tell you what, I mean. When uh, you know, when I play with a group of guys that haven't prestige and we've got those pro perks, we've got the weapons, we've got the attachments, we've got the kill streaks, and we're playing with a coordinated effort. It is not easy to beat us, um, simply because we can. Uh, we're pretty versatile. I mean, we can go back and forth between you know an aggressive class to a defensive class, play almost any positional role that there is in the game for any game mode, and uh, and hold our own. And when you when you prestige, you know obviously you've got to you've got to drop all that. You've got to drop your pro perks. You've got to drop your COD points. You've got to drop your weapons. You've got to drop the kill streaks. You've got to drop the attachments for your weapons that you've uh, you've accumulated. And um, Mark Spaceman Stu, uh, you got a you got a totally different perspective on uh, on this topic. Go ahead and introduce yourself and tell everybody a little bit about what you think about this. <laughs> Spaceman Stu here. I'm big in the pants and also big in the prestiging. Sorry, OG, but I disagree. For one, I mean, you get your new emblem and new pictures and backgrounds for your player card with every prestige. And then with every single prestige, you get a certain thing. I mean, at 3rd, 5th, 7th, and ninth, you get uh, new custom slots. I find pretty useful in this game. At your uh, 11th prestige, you get new face paint. 13th prestige, colored clan tag. And 14th prestige, you get your gold guns. I think this is kind of mediocre, but at 15th prestige, you get kind of a little moving emblem. Way to go, Treyarch. Um, one big thing that they did with prestiging is give you prestige playlists. And what those do is for people that are really competitive or really kind of want more, more of a challenge in this game, it lets you go up against people that are also prestiged. So no more going into lobbies with kids that just got this game for Christmas or kids that really just don't know what they're doing. And you can just go up against people that are prestiged and are at the same skill level as you. Another thing it does is it keeps me from getting bored from the repetitiveness of this game. I find myself very often going into combat training or wager matches just to get away from this game because it's just the same stuff over and over again. It also gets me good at using weapons 
found in the preset classes, such as the M16 and the MP5K. Many times I'll find myself picking up weapons from the ground after I'm out of pretty pretty high in a kill streak, six or seven kills, and I'll be out of ammo. Pick up a gun that's very often an MP5K and field, something low level that I don't use very often. That's what prestiging helps me get into is getting used to those guns. Basically, my view is that prestiging doesn't give you any advantages over non prestiges but it just gives you a luxury, like, feel of the game, with your gold camo, your colored clan tags, and your new face paints that many people can't get to. It's ultimately for people who are going for more of the, like, bragging rights of this game more than the people that just want to play and get good. You sacrifice a lot of things, like all your stats, all your per- pro perks, attachments, everything. That's my view. Dan, you want to take it down? Yeah, no, you guys bring up a lot of good points on either side, and, uh, you know, Mark, you bring up a good point about the custom classes. Um, I feel that they're pretty good in this game, but they would have been a bigger asset in Modern Warfare 2 because in Modern Warfare 2 you had the perk one-man army. So you could have a ton of classes preset, so you could change right in the middle of the battle and not have to sacrifice a kill and end your kill streak. And you could go from being an offensive role to a defensive role, depending on whether, uh, what side you started at. And, you know, that was, that was pretty big. So, uh, you know, it would be more versatile in... Modern Warfare 2 compared to Black Ops. In Black Ops, I don't find myself switching more than once, if any time, in the middle of battle. So, uh, and then on top of that, you gotta wait for it, uh, before you die. So, you, you end up just kinda, uh, getting screwed over and, um, so, I don't find the custom classes as big of an asset in this game. Um, so I won't be prestiging anymore for those. I prestige three times to get the first two, just in case. And, uh, you know, I won't be prestiging for the other ones. And, uh, Adam, you bring up a good point about the pro perks. I can't give up my pro perks anymore. They're really, really good, and they help me win a lot of fights. And they're also super hard to get, one of which is obviously the Flak Jacket Pro, because no one uses frags anymore. It's really hard to grab up the uh, throwbacks. So, you know, you end up just hoping in some case that someone's using them. And uh, they're just too valuable to give up. So that's why I won't be prestiging anymore. Yeah, I think um I mean I think everybody everybody here brings up a really valid point uh from their side, from their opinion, and it really comes down to you guys that are watching this video, it really comes down to your personal preference and your definition of fun. I mean, for me, my definition of fun is I like to win, you know, and I, I like to take advantage of every resource that's available to me to ensure that I win. Um Spaceman Stu his, I mean, obviously his idea of fun is, you know, accomplishing, beating the game, uh, proceeding through the game and getting, you know, getting the maximum amount of, uh, recognition via the prestige. And that's great. So, um, thanks for watching guys. Please leave us a comment, rate and subscribe. Uh, thanks for being on guys. Peace out. Yeah. Thank you Later, very please. much.